Greetings and salutations. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wesley Webb, Pastor of the Grace Baptist Church in Greater Downtown Metropolitan, Matthew, South Carolina, and welcome to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. So I'm interested today in Psalm chapter 137. It's a psalm written apparently by an Israelite that had endured some duration of Babylonian captivity. It seems as though he's not the only Israelite there. Uh, We is mentioned three times in verse 1. It's mentioned once in verse 2. He uses the word us uh, five times in verse number 3, and then we again in verse number 4. Now, I don't know why. It's probably just my imagination. But when I read Psalm 137, uh, I imagine a line of Israelites, and they're all chained together, maybe by the waist and then the wrists, or or maybe neck to neck. You have saw this depiction in movies, I'm sure, before. Um, The Israelites are all chained together, and they're just kind of walking through as they're being led from one place to another. Uh, Or maybe there is a group of them, and they're all working together in this common work area. You know, they're swinging a pickaxe or something, you know. uh, I I don't know. Uh, That's just kind of the pictures that I get when I read this. It's kind of what I see in my mind, in my imagination. And so in the midst of this, the psalmist writing, uh, there's one of those Babylonian taskmasters, and he makes this uh, request, suggestion, or how you want to view it, in verse number three, he says, uh, there are, for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song and said, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. So this picture that I've painted, um, one of the taskmasters chimes in and says, Hey, sing us one of the songs of Zion. And one of the other taskmasters chimes in, Yes, that sounds like a good idea. And maybe one chimes in and says, Oh, 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 I remember hearing one that one time. Um, it said something about... Um, Sing the wonderful love of Jesus when we all get to heaven or something. And another one chimes in. Ooh, I remember one, something about um, ask me why I'm happy. I'll tell you why my sins are gone or something. Sing us one of those songs of Zion. They just wanted to hear the songs of Zion for entertainment purposes only. Now, that's not unlike this world and their treatment of Christians and Christianity today. As long as the world is calling the shots, as long as the world is in control of our lives, as long as the world is not threatened by our Christianity, and as long as us Christians aren't standing in the way of progress, then our beliefs and our worship and our obedience, our adherence, to the Word of God, the way we live our lives, it's all tolerated, but for entertainment purposes only. Truly, this world does not want to hear about God. They don't want to hear about His Word. They don't want to hear about His Lordship. They don't want to hear about His house. They don't want to hear His gospel. But I just want to remind you that the things of God are not for entertainment purposes only. God is serious, and the things of God are serious as well. God forbid that we treat the things of God so lightly as they are for entertainment purposes only. Well, just thought. That's all for today's Morning Minute Meditation. Y'all have a great day, and remember, it is what it is.